Good morning, everybody. Starting our day right here in Prado, Manitoba. 20 R and O's eastbound. Gotta pick up that load in Kenora today. We gotta go, it's not gonna pick itself up. Gotta grab it. Okay, get on down to Brainerd again. Let's get going. Ready? I'm just gonna double check my trailer one more time. It's not gonna fall off. Brakes work, trailer's attached, brakes release. That's the last of the checklist. Let's get going. To uh, turn on to Trans Canada Highway 1 eastbound here in uh, eastern Manitoba, southeast. Which would be that way. Buddy, you're in the far lane? Okay, we can take the near lane. I'll wait for you anyways. There you go. day look at this the sun's shining the grass is still somewhat green still some green leaves on the trees my tires are all filled with premium air premium autumn air
big machinery out of here now? Yeah. Wonder why. It doesn't look like they're done clearing all the rocks. Maybe they were just in the way. Oh, there's one up there on the right. Narrows. It's on the way to International Falls, Minnesota and Fort Francis, Ontario. It's on the Ontario side, obviously. This is a nice place to come in the summertime. A lot of cottage people. I usually stop here for coffee. But they do close really ridiculously early, something like 5 or 6 o'clock. Oh, they actually have French on that sign over there on the left. Bienvenue. Very, very rare do you see French on signs in the U.S. Even though Canada is French. It's English and French. Very often you'll see Spanish on all the signs, like right up to the Canadian border. Even though French people live like right over the border. And it's much more likely that you have tourists coming from French Canada than from Spanish Mexico. Continue along this road for 18 kilometers. I always found that kind of interesting. So this is International Falls, Minnesota. Beautiful little town here. like firewood like not fire but just the wood it smells like like cut wood like a lumber yard oh it smells good way better than that paper plant smells usually usually this town stinks it smells good today what's going on you guys cutting wood Back in Brainerd. 
feel like it used to take a lot longer, or feel like it took a lot longer to get here. 200 meters, turn right on, 8th Avenue, CR3. I mean, it's only like a five or six hour drive from Kenora. But it, just, it feels to go by so quick now, I don't know. There's two trucks in front of me. Yeah, they were the two that were behind me, but I was a little slow dragging my feet and they passed me. These train tracks aren't in use anymore. They actually don't even exist anymore other than right here. It freaked me out at first. I didn't want to park right on the tracks. <laughs> and I looked over here. I was like, oh, there's not even any rails over here. There we go. Number three. We got this guy right there. And there's one more guy in front of him up there. Oh, hey, that's Mike. The guy in the front. Oh, that's my friend. Huh. I'll say hi to him in the morning for sure. Makes sense because I did see him uh, get loaded just as he was leaving, just as I got there. So he's probably been here a while already. Eh. That's cool. He's a good guy. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go to bed. I haven't filmed much today, so I'll see you right here in the morning. <laughs>